Simulating and downloading a PIC circuit to Intel FPGA boards using TINA. In this video, first, we'll demonstrate how to simulate and synthesize a circuit displaying prime numbers using a PIC MCU VHDL code. In the end, we'll download the circuit's configuration file to the Terasic DE10 Lite FPGA board. Now, open the PIC 16F84 prime number generator SIM DE10 Lite circuit from the TINA examples FPGA folder. This circuit calculates prime numbers between 1 and 9,999 and shows them on a four-digit seven-segment display. The four digits have four times, 8 equals 32 pins. Since the PIC has limited number of lines to control the display, we use an array of registers to extend its capability. The register array is implemented in the display register's VHDL macro. The registers will be written by the PIC chip. The macro has two inputs, cell and D. Both are VHDL standard logic vector connected to the MCU port by buses. The cell lines go to the MCU port RA, the D to the port RB. The hex vectors are the outputs on the port list. Each registered output goes to the appropriate digit passing the seven segment codes to the display. When one line of the cell input goes low, then the seven segment code, asserted on the D bus by the MCU, will be stored in the appropriate output register. Note, to turn a segment on, the proper pin should be at a high level because our display is common cathode type. In this circuit, the PIC MCU model is written in VHDL. The VHDL code is the functional model of a PIC 16F84 8-bit microcontroller with initialized flash program memory. CLK1 provides the external 10 MHz clock. OK, now let's look at the VHDL code. Right-click on the MCU, then select Enter Macro. The top-level entity is RTL underscore PIC. In the architecture section bound to the RTL underscore PIC entity, line 1828, we instantiate and connect the main components. These components are the PIC core, line 1830, the 1K times 14 bits flash underscore ROM, line 1890, and the PIC 16F underscore RAM file register, line 1898. From line 1941, the instantiation statements connect these declared components to signals in the architecture, followed by auxiliary VHDL code to support reset and I.O. updates. OK, now let's take a look at the flash underscore ROM entity, line 63, where the prime number generator program was loaded. The case construction, line 76, describes the ROM functionality. The ROM content, line 78 and following of the program code, has been written in C, which we have already converted to this VHDL code. Close the TINA HDL editor window. OK, now let's look at the C code. The project was created and the program was developed with the free version of Microchip MPLAB IDE and their Microchip XC8 compiler. Start MPLAB. First, we define SIM, indicating that we are running a simulation, line 3. If SIM is defined, then other constants are created in lines 6 to 8. The XTAL FREQ is the processor frequency for the simulation. The other parameters are for handling the display. The code writes prime numbers between 1 and 9999 with the help of a for loop starting from line 77. If a number is prime, we will generate the digits and display the number. Note that for checking primes, due to the limited memory of PIC 16F84, we use a very short C code, 
but for large numbers, this C code runs slowly. We have 8 bits to write a digit, port B, and 4 bits, port A, to select which one to display. A digit is displayed by writing the representative 7-segment code to the digit's external register. The code is assigned on port B, lines 102 to 103, and the write operation is performed by pulsing the appropriate select line on port A, lines 106 to 111. Now let's go back to the schematic editor of Tina. Start the simulation by pressing the Dig button. You can see the prime numbers written on the display. Stop the simulation. If you want to follow the transitions of the digital nodes, you can switch to the Show Digital Node States option under the View menu. In this case, the node levels will be displayed. However, the simulation could be slower. Now, let's make the main difference in the C code for the synthesis. Open the C source file in the MPLAB editor and comment the SIM definition out in line 3. Thus, we have defined new constants, like the processor speed in line 10, 50 MHz. This is the oscillator frequency of the DE10 Lite FPGA board. After that, we can compile the project and convert the result, the executable binary, into VHDL. The code is placed in the flash ROM component of our VHDL PIC model. Now open the circuit PIC 16F84 prime number generator DE10 Lite from the TINA examples FPGA folder. We have FPGA pins connected to the segments of the displays and the clock input pin of the PIC MCU. The COM pin of the displays can be left floating, as the common anode of the digits is hardwired on the board. Now let's test our circuit in a real environment using the Terasic DE10 Lite FPGA board. Create a folder, we'll name our folder Designs, then click the TNM menu and select Export to FPGA Software. Then click Intel Cortis. Save all the generated files in this newly created folder. To produce downloadable content, we first have to create the Cortis Prime Light project. Start Cortis. Select File, then click New Project Wizard. Click Next. Enter the working directory name, in our case, C colon backslash designs and the project name, Prime Generator. Click Next. Click Next again. Now add the source file. From the Designs folder, select all the VHD files as source files, then click Open. Click Next. In the Family, Device, and Board Settings dialog under Device Family, select Max 10. Now you can manually select the 10M50DAF484C7G FPGA from the available devices. Click Next. Leave the EDA tool settings on default. Click Next again. Finally, press the Finish button. Now Cordis is initializing our project. We can check the VHD file. Copy the entity name and set it as the top-level entity under the Assignments menu point. Click Assignments and select Settings. Paste the entity name into the top-level entity field in the dialog. Click OK. Let's add the QSF file as well. Click Assignments and select Import Assignments. From the Designs folder, Select PIC 16F84 Prime Number Generator DE10 Lite QSF file, then click Open. The content of the QSF file will tell the software which FPGA pins are to be used for the logic inputs and outputs. Click OK. Now, to produce configuration data for the FPGA, right click on Compile Design, then click Start. Now, connect the DE10 Lite with the Cordis machine via USB. As soon as the Cordis Prime Full Compilation Was Successful message appears, right-click on the program device 
then click Open. Click the Start button to program the device. You'll see the Progress Bar at 100% Successful message, and you can see the prime numbers written on the display. For more information, visit our website, www.tina.com. Visit our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash user slash Tina Design Suite.